Hi everybody, we're in week three and we've been learning about the different stages uh, of development uh, from infancy to about preschool age with social, emotional, cognitive, physical, all of that. So we were given three scenarios to choose from. The first one was a mother who was suffering from postpartum depression, who uh, didn't feel like she was engaging enough with her child, who uh, felt like she was incapable of being a good mother, and after I gave birth to my third, I was that mother and I was uh, suffering from postpartum depression and I reached out for help and I'm really glad that I did because it was very beneficial. So uh, this one is really relatable and why I chose to kind of talk on this one. And um, so for this assignment, we're I'm going to say that my client has been coming to me for a few weeks and um, rapport has been built, some trust has been built, and she's made a lot of progress, and she now wants to try to understand if she didn't come to seek help, what that might have, how that might have impacted her and her child, and um, so yeah, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is check in with her and see like what things have been working for her uh based off the past sessions which i asked her if she wanted to you know try to attend a support group of moms of new moms uh see if there was any parenting classes that she found that might have been helpful make sure that the support system that she did have in place is still there helping her um uh, also my client is the primary caretaker uh for her child so, um, that's been there. Uh, she said to me too that she was struggling with some of the like intrusive thoughts that maybe postpartum, uh, can come with. And so I gave her some, uh, maybe some ways to help her cope with those. One being that like those intrusive thoughts are thoughts that you don't want. And like if a song comes on the radio that you don't like, uh, think about you usually change the station so try to change that thought when it comes even if and it's hard and sometimes it could be just singing the alphabet or counting or naming off fruits or naming off everything that you could think of that starts with an A just to try and get the thought out of your head the other thing that I had asked her too is because she felt like she was an incapable mother I had asked if anybody, has anybody told you that or is it just one of those intrusive thoughts? And if it's just those intrusive thoughts, again, try to change the way you're thinking. If somebody has told her that, maybe she should look into what significance they have in her life and seeing if she can maybe, would it be more benefit for her to cut that relationship she has with them? Um, because uh, to protect her mental health and you know kind of so checking in with her and see how she's doing on those things and then um, since she's asking me if she didn't receive the help what kind of impact that might have had on her children and I think I would uh, start with talking about like how different like the different attachment styles and talk about how as we saw with Harlow and the monkey experiment that he did that uh when a child is frightened and stuff they usually go to that parent the primary caregiver who protects them makes them feel trust trusted uh he referred to them as the comfort contact um and if she, as the primary caretaker, is uh, not available because she was dealing with her, you know, depression and so she wasn't as engaging and stuff, that could look like the um, baby being, um, feeling, you know, like she abandoned him or her and because um, they also don't know uh, object prem premises permanence sorry and um so w if the mother leaves the room or something and the baby is unaware that the mother might come back um so that could put like some feelings of stress and anxiety 
you know, and it could lead to the baby learning to not have the trust and that comfort that, you know, used to getting and it could affect uh, his attachment style and it could then impact him or her socially uh, down the line uh, when it comes to friendships, work relationships, uh, things like that. And then we also uh, could talk about how some of those stressors and stuff like that could impact them uh, physically. It could, you know, change certain hormones like the growth hormone and it could change, you know, their, uh, you know, can cause other physical symptoms as well. Um, and then I would also talk about how there's a book that I really liked reading um, and it's called The Boy Who Was Raised as a Dog by Bruce Perry and some other children's psychiatrist who wrote about uh, how different early life stressors affect the development and developmental brain uh, in early childhood. And if she felt like that's something that she was interested in and was capable of reading, that it might benefit her. And then we could talk about it uh, in our next session if she decided to read that or she could contact me at any time if she was really struggling with it to check in with me to make sure she was still doing okay and then if it was just too much for her as well i would tell her to stop reading it but yeah thanks